This is Sandy from Country Cooking with Sandy Marie. Tonight I am going to make a slow cooker breakfast burrito. It's been a hectic week or two getting ready for the holidays. I thought I'd treat my family to a great breakfast. So join me in the kitchen and let's get cooking. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I thought I'm glad you're here. Let's go. So in the morning, we will have breakfast all ready to eat. So first I sprayed the crock pot and then dump a bag of pre-cooked turkey crumbles. Thought I'd save a step from having to brown it. Make sure it's good to the last drop. I chopped about one red, one green pepper and a small onion, just a rough chop. I have eight eggs here. I'm just gonna give a quick scramble to whip it up, whip it real good. The recipe will also be in the description of the video. This is Christmas weekend, so I am trying to make some yummy breakfast for the family. Half a cup of milk. A frozen bag of hash browns. Into the pot. One teaspoon of salt. I use the pink Himalayan. One teaspoon of black pepper. Do you like crack pot meals? Comment below if you have any recipes you'd like me to try or recommend. I love to see it and I comment on every one I see. Here about two cloves of garlic that's already chopped for me. Take the shortcuts where you can. About a half a cup of shredded cheese. Now you just want to mix it all in so you get eggs and every bite and sausage. You're going to add about two tablespoons of butter broken in little pieces so you can get a little everywhere. That will help it from sticking to your crock pot and taste yummy. Stir, stir, stir. Now I'm just kind of leveling it out so it cooks nice and even. This is a pretty new crock pot, so I'm not used to the times yet. Four hours is all you really need on low. And then I just let it go on to warm 
Until the morning. The breakfast burrito is done. See it's browning around the edges. Now you take a spoon in, it's gonna come out pretty clean. And now you're just gonna stir it. some cheese. And let's get this in a burrito wrap. About three this morning, I could start smelling the breakfast burritos and it made me hungry. You're just gonna take your filling. My shells are kind of small. I would recommend at least 10 inch shells. Be easier to wrap too. But we're gonna make these work. I hope. I'm gonna top it with some more cheese. I do love my cheese. And I have some homemade salsa ranchera here. But you can use your salsa, whatever you have. Normally you would be able to roll this, but because they're so small, I can't. But this still tastes good. Mmm. This is good. The family has already dug in and had their share. Bites for you. I usually save the first bite for the guests, but I guess I was hungry and forgot. Enjoy. This is Sandy. Country Cooking with Sandy Marie. Thank you for watching me. And I'll see you next time when I'm cooking in the kitchen or growing in the garden. Have a fabulous day.